Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Really quick video today. I just finished making this nice butcher block. And you can see it's all hard maple, all laminated together. It's a, a little more than an inch and a half thick. Rounded over the edges, sanded it all the way up to 220. What I want to do is show you how to condition a butcher block. Now what I use is this, it's Howard Butcher Block Conditioning Oil. And it has a food grade mineral oil in it, which will seal inside and soak into the wood, but also food safe so you can cut your food on and not worry about the oils, you know, harming you uh, bodily. Now, it also has beeswax and carnauba wax in it. That's gonna seal in the mineral oil and keep it in the board as long as possible. Now, every four to six months, when you have a cutting board or a butcher block, you wanna condition it because you wash it with soapy water as often as you use it, uh, and you know, you get those knife marks in it, and this stuff kinda self heals those, uh, those marks and what it does also seals in the mineral oil so that it lasts a lot longer. It doesn't dry out and crack and split. So since this was just built or created in my shop here, I treated it with food grade mineral oil to soak in. And now that it's all dried up, what I wanna do is show you how to condition it and seal that oil in. Now this has the mineral oil in it already, so you don't need to add any more. So once you have a cutting board or a butcher block uh, that you bought or if you made one and you treated it with the oil first, then you're gonna use this afterwards. So first thing you do, always read the instructions on the bottom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this in a liberal amount, you don't have to go crazy. You already have oil in the board. All right, so I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna use gloves because this stuff is pretty greasy and intense, you know, and it'll get all over you and you'll can't touch anything in the shop. So I'm just gonna take a shop rag or a shop cloth, and I'm gonna work it in first in a circular motion, just to spread it out and give it the amount that it needs to really get into the, the wood, kind of forcing it into the grain, even though it already has the oil forced in there. But once I get it on there, then I'm just gonna rub it with the grain. And once I'm satisfied with total coverage on the board here. I'm gonna get the sides a little bit. You get the sides from the top, and then when you flip it over, you're gonna get the sides again, and you'll ensure that you have total coverage on that end grain and those side uh, pieces of the board also. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take it, and I'm just gonna wipe it in with the grain in one direction. And now what I'm gonna do is flip it over. You're gonna leave it on there, don't wipe it off yet. Don't. Buff it out. Apply some more. Nice amount. Use the same rig. Now you have it soaked with oil and wax. Let's really work it into the butcher block, cutting board, whatever you uh, are working on, or whatever you need to treat. First thing I'm doing, just applying it in a circular motion. You'll see the wax sitting on top of the board a little bit. It's mixed with the oil, but you can really see it, you know, it's raised up a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna go back and forth with the grain. Make sure you get the sides again. This will give you a nice even coat. That end grain, end grain likes to soak this stuff up. It's real thirsty, the end grain. Okay, now just wipe off the excess. In the same direction on the green. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit. I like to let it sit about 10 to 20 minutes. Usually around the 10 minute mark or the 12 minute mark, I get a little crazy and I said, you know what, I gotta buff it out, I can't wait for this anymore. And then it'll be buffed out to a nice sheen, it'll seal in the oil. So we're gonna let it sit right now and we're gonna come back in about 10 minutes. So let it sit and then come back, flip it over, buff out the other side first since you applied it over there first and then flip it over and buff out the top. All right, so now that I let it sit for approximately 13 minutes, because I can't let it sit anymore, I'm just getting crazy sitting here watching this thing. Gotta get it done, got other things to do. I put some tools away in the meanwhile. Put your gloves back on. We're gonna bump in the direction of the grain to a nice sheen, and then we'll be done, it'll be all sealed up. You can see the side's still a little bit wet. And I'm going to take the side that I just used, and I'm gonna fold it inwards. I'm gonna buff in a nice dry piece. And the same thing, in the direction of the grain, Buff it out so you get a nice sheen. 
and then we'll get to the close up. You should do this every four to six months, depending on the use of your cutting board. How much do you use it? How much do you use your butcher block? Do you use it every single day? Do you use it once a week? Do you use it twice a month? You know, that's the kind of stuff that you gotta think about, and that's what's gonna dictate how much you have to condition it. Don't ever put these in the dishwasher. I don't know if anybody uh, out there has ever done that. Anybody that's watching these videos, I'm sure you guys haven't done it, but uh, maybe uh, tell your customers not to. Because I've had some people that just don't know how to care for a cutting board or a butcher block. Just warm, soapy water, and every four to six months apply this, buff it out, and you'll be good. It'll last you a long time. Another thing that people don't tell their, uh, their clients is do not leave these sitting on a, a puddle of standing water on the counter because it will soak in and split. And then they'll be looking at you to give them a new cutting board and say, you sold me a cutting board that split, I used it twice, left it on the counter and it just split. And then you come to find out later on that it was a puddle of water and they left it there for a week or two and it soaked it all up and it split right down the middle of the cutting board. All right guys, so now let's try to handle a little bit. And just take a look at that. Nice, beautiful, the light reflecting off it a little bit. It kind of looks like there's a nice finish on it. But that's really just the wax that's doing its job, sealing in the mineral oil. The mineral oil gave it a nice color. And the wax seals it in there, keeps it protected. Hi guys, I hope you guys uh, found this video useful and I hope you use some of these techniques in your shop. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I post usually uh, every day uh, either a pic or a short video clip of an upcoming project or projects that actually don't make it to YouTube because I don't have time to upload them. Uh, so I'll put the link down there. Alright guys, take it easy. See you next time.